Greetings, lovely viewers! Cats are the best, aren't they? Even if you're allergic, you often find yourself fighting the urge to pet them. Cats are super cute and come with a whole lot of personality. So naturally, you'd want them to live a long, healthy life. For this, you need to pay extra attention to what they're eating. In today's video, we'll be talking about human foods that are toxic to your cat. Besides chocolates and avocado, what else should you avoid giving them? Chives? Maybe grapes. We're talking all that and more. Number 1. Chocolate There could be a thunderstorm outside and my cat wouldn't bat an eye, but if I open chocolate anywhere or anytime, she instantly becomes alert. Chocolates are a big no for cats. It's definitely hard to say no to their pleading eyes, but you have to in this case. Chocolates can kill your cat. They contain a toxic agent that causes seizures, irregular heartbeat, and tremors. You may think only dark or unsweetened baking chocolate is bad for them. While you're right to watch out for dark chocolate, even white chocolates aren't safe. They too contain particular toxic agents harmful to your fur baby. About 20 milligrams of chocolate per kilogram of your cat's weight can give off mild symptoms. And with 40 milligrams per kilogram of body weight, your furry feline will experience severe symptoms. Want to treat your cat? Try homemade banana and peanut butter bites. This will have them purring louder than ever before. What makes your cat happy? Was there a specific time they just couldn't stop purring? Sound off in the comment section and share your cat stories with the Bestie community. Number 2. Avocado Avocados are super healthy, but only for humans. Your cat needs to stay far away from this delicious fruit. But with avocados, it's different. The entire fruit itself, together with its leaves, pits, and bark, is toxic to your cat due to person. This causes diarrhea and vomiting. So keeping your cat away from avocado sounds easy, right? After all, your cat won't make an avocado sandwich for itself. But what about guacamole? Many cat parents have found their kitties sneaking guacamole. No, not out of the fridge. Although given how sneaky some are, I wouldn't put it past them. I'm talking about guac that's left out at a party. Cats can easily find their way to it. Next time you're entertaining guests, keep the nacho plate away from your cat. Number 3. Green Tomatoes Yes, green tomatoes can be dangerous for your cat. The good news is that cats are highly unlikely to eat raw green tomatoes as they dislike the texture and taste, but still, look out for them. Cats are a bit weird and you never know when they might just decide to explore their options. Most cat experts feel red ripe tomatoes are safe, but the raw ones contain a bitter poisonous alkaloid that can make your cat very sick. It causes violent gastrointestinal issues, meaning you'll need to take them to a vet immediately. But don't worry if you see tomatoes written on any cat food. Cat food companies use the red kind. This too comes in small quantities. Number 4. Grapes and Raisins The Animal Poison Control Center advises against giving your cat anything made with grapes and raisins. It's not yet known what makes them dangerous for pets, but the general consensus is that you should avoid them at all costs. There have been several cases where they've caused kidney failure in pets. It's best not to put your cat in such dangerous situations. If your cat ate a piece or two, keep a close watch. If you see any sign of discomfort, rush them to the vet. Number 5. Onion Some of us make the mistake of sharing table scraps with our cats. Do you do that as well? It is indeed difficult to resist their pleas, but you have to be strict. Lots of human foods contain onion in one form or another. The bad news is that they can give your kitty anemia. But how? Onions contain a chemical that destroys your cat's red blood cells. It's called Heinz body anemia. Your cat can develop onion poisoning by eating a large amount of it at once or eating small quantities of it on the regular. If you give your cat homemade food, pay attention to the labels of everything you're putting into it. It's not just about adding raw onions as an ingredient. Onions can be present in cooked, dehydrated, or powdered form, and all of them are bad for your cat. This is why you can't trust baby food brands either. Many of them contain onion powder. Before we move ahead, here's a video you might like. If you have a dog and are wondering what foods you need to avoid giving them, watch this video and learn about the 9 foods that can kill them. Number 6. Garlic If onions made it to our list, garlic had to follow up. Just like onions, garlic can do plenty of harm. Giving it to your kitty can make them develop anemia. This is because garlic contains disulfide and thiosulfates, most of which make your cat's red blood cells very fragile. This damages them to the extent that the red blood cells burst, and garlic is more concentrated than onions, so it can do more damage if as little as one tiny clove of garlic is given to the cat. 
You need to contact a pet poison helpline if your cat has eaten garlic. Number seven, sugar-free foods. Any human food that is labeled sugar-free should never be given to your cat. That's because several human foods contain xylitol. This is a sweetener that can injure your cat's liver. Baked goodies, candies, and even some toothpaste brands contain xylitol. It also lowers your kitty's blood sugar to dangerous levels. Number eight, caffeine. Any caffeine-heavy product is dangerous for your cat. The terrifying part is that there is no anecdote for caffeine poisoning. Never give your cat drinks like tea or coffee. Even cola and other stimulant drinks are a no-no. Caffeine poisoning can cause muscle tremors, heart palpitations, rapid breathing, and restlessness in your kitty. Number nine, dog food. If you're a proud pet parent to both dogs and cats, chances are you've seen your fur babies trying to switch between foods. You may have seen them trying to sneak into each other's bowls. Just don't let it become a habit. Dog food isn't toxic for your cat, but it does contain ingredients specifically tailored to a dog. Some of them are harmful for your cat. Besides this, dog food would not meet their specific nutritional needs. For example, cats need more protein and fatty acids. Substituting cat food with dog food will make your cat severely malnourished. Number 10, alcohol. No, it's never funny to try to get your pets drunk. All types of alcohol are toxic for cats and should never be given to them. It can destroy your cat's central nervous system, making them drowsy and uncoordinated. This eventually leads to loss of consciousness, respiratory failure, and death. An accidental lick might not be lethal, but you do need to be very careful when hosting parties where you'll be serving alcohol. Do not leave alcohol containers or punch bowls open all night. Clean up the counter before going to sleep. Cats are curious by nature and you never know what interests them when you're fast asleep. Number 11, yeast dough. Do you know why yeast is added to dough? To make it rise. And that's exactly what it would do to your furry feline's stomach if it ate raw yeast dough. Yeast will expand in your kitty's abdomen, causing severe pain. As if this wasn't enough, yeast will also make alcohol as a byproduct and this can cause alcohol poisoning. So better look out for your cat when you're baking. Keep them busy with treats and toys. Set raw dough aside in corners and cabinets your kitty can't reach. Did you know about these toxic foods before watching this video? Has your cat ever eaten one of these by accident? Let us know in the comments below. We would love to hear from you. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait, what kind of Bestie are we if we don't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video and enjoy.